All right. So this ain't nothing but a video of me just reacting to the official reveal of Destiny 2 Forsaken. I already watched it, but um, basically I just wanted to just break it down, some of the interesting stuff I've seen out of it, and go from there. But yeah, one more. Let's go. We have this opportunity that we wouldn't have had years ago to ship a game and then really collaborate with people outside the studio to figure out, like, what is the best version of that? Honestly, yeah, like, we're building something the community has been asking for, and it's accumulation of everything. He be feeling it. He be kind of making me feel like he nervous to actually say anything. Sometimes when we like watching him on stream, he just feel like he's so nervous. Like he don't want to say something or reveal something too much. It's the uh, one with the blonde hair. He kind of. The upside to that is we're not holding anything back. All the feedback we've heard for the last year. That that is, go fast update. This is it. It's in Forsaken. I don't believe y'all. We want this release to have a, a different tone and a different vibe. We sort of some lucky pants. Western revenge vibe. You're going to a darker place. You're going to take on a different role as a guardian. I do like the reef. Uh, I ain't going to hold you up. That was something that was like, all right, that's tight. I wanted to go back to the reef because I, mean, I thought it was real cool. interesting. Grit, man. One bring the dirt back. But what better way to start a story than to start it with a prison break? Right. Kate's been filling this prison. <laughs> with, with bad guys I'm kind of over are, them putting really Kate as the number so one, but breaks, so that's a comic relief. I'm like, then you mad to make uh, the First ghost place, shut the fuck up because I'm tired of having everybody with you, a they one liner and shit trash. It's a collection of lashed together asteroids yes. and rocks out and in the asteroid. It's very otherworldly and it's uh, full of. Yep. He looked tight though. Uh, hopefully they got they not just reskins. They actually like have some different type of mechanics that make you have to fight differently. A reason for like multiple shotguns and shit like that. I think of it as the reverse Magnificent Seven, like the worst of the worst criminals. You are hunting down these different barons. In fact, they're called Baron Hunt. So one Baron is a sniper, and you have a sniper versus sniper battle with them. Another Baron is a big... That was really interesting, because they're saying that they're basically you're going to be doing, like, if you have to really, like, you have no way of getting to them versus, like, snipers and, like, long-range weapons, that would be pretty sweet. I want to see how they implement that. Um... I'm not sure if they actually nail it right or how I'm thinking of it, but it'd be so cool if they had like so it'd be interesting to see that where you're able to actually like if they were on one playing field and you're on another and you actually had to snipe across and they kept giving you special ammo, heavy ammo, things like that to actually continue to fight. I wanna see how that mechanic would work. Um we do do long range fights, but I wanna see if it was like a boss, how effectively would they try to kill you? How would it be time to kill if they one hit? It'd be it'd be real interesting, to say the least. A giant hulking melee character. Another melee character does not make it make or break me at all. The new weapon system. Hey, if you like Destiny Two, great, play that way. But if you like Destiny One, great, play, play that, that way. way. But if you're crazy, why not three shotguns, right? Just How does that work? I need to see these how many magazines and stuff you get though because that'll really tell me Random rolls, thank God What they gonna be pushing into like 600 is that gonna be a new cap like come on G I hated that from 385 from 335. Are able to kind of move your levels up over time, and so there's investment back on the weapons again. Uh, new supers, yeah, crazy, crazy. What's your, what's your favorite? Fire, Fire knives. Fire knives. I don't know, man. They look like it's gonna just be another uh, a variation from the. Golden gun, but hopefully it's something better. Slam that thing down and it sends out this fire in front of you that then creates a fire tornado. 
<laughs> they they really bumped up the warlock. Like the warlock looked legit now. I'm in love with the new Void Warlock uh, teleportation <clears throat> that's like super anime, just like <laughs> been Swing on me first. He had that swing on me first move. Give me your reason to clap that at it. Yeah, and it's gonna break the game, and I think that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you know? <laughs> We also wanted a new weapon type that's called Moon Fall, so we came up with a Warframe. Which seems kind of crazy. I was like, as soon as I seen that bow, I was like, Warframe. Utilitarian and fantastical is also sci fi. So we have a short range bow, we have a medium range bow, we have a long range bow. But we thought this guy was like supposed to be super techy. Yeah, that's definitely Warframe, like, but I don't care. Would you ever Take it. Choose a bow they made a better game that's free, so if you take the ideas, polish it up, make your game. Hey. Don't care about story. Get them off the carry. Get them out of here. Want to be able to give players what they want, but also surprise them. Gambit is a brand new mode. Destiny begs to marry PVE and PVP together. It's like adding bacon to peanut butter and jelly. That's you gross. Off, uh, being able to see the other team that you're going to compete against, so you can taunt each other, you can emote. Each team is in their own separate arena, and they're being assaulted by combatants. They're dropping boats for you to collect. Someone did point out to me this kind of feels like Titanfall 2's, um, I uh, forget what it's called, but where you have to, like, do, do, you have to do things in order to actually build up your bank and stuff like that, so they, this feels like a Titanfall 2 scenario, which, albeit it's more stuff for us, so I can't trip on it, but I'm not really that impressed by Gambit. I'm still waiting on Trials of Osiris. And they get multiple kills, they'll come back and they'll be like, suck it! It's awesome. <laughs> we leave the raid team alone. And if you can't tell, like, we just kind of let them do their own thing. But we, this, we have Joe like, like, over there. For this next raid, we wanted to get back to the epic adventure where you're going out to slay a big monster again. This raid has more bosses than any raid we've ever had before. And we're really excited to get players in there. Nah. Uh... The raid is actually about more than just the raid. It's about the, the dreaming city, the place that the raid exists. And it's like I think it'd be cool for the destination, though. I don't think that's a bad idea. I think destination type where you can explore and keep changing, that's cool, but I don't want it to be longer if they're not going to give us checkpoints, you know what I mean? Like, if I have to go through the whole thing, they better implement checkpoints back. Like, this is... This would be pointless. I wouldn't want that to be longer without them actually giving us something else that will help us, you know. Puzzles that you need to solve. A lot of hidden corners, lots of passageways that might not seem to exist the first time. Good. Need changes, need stuff. End game place where there's just secrets and different activities that unveil over time. So the dreaming city that you see at launch is not going to be the same dreaming city two, three weeks later. Warlock. So with every design decision we made for the first thing we did, Smacky. the first thing we asked is how would the community react to this? Players want their investment in Destiny. Why so wouldn't they? And they this is a loot-based game. Why content. wouldn't they want we their investment want to be? For the collectors in this is pointless. So built a called the collections. It's a way for you to should have been the in there. That you can go out and acquire. There's so much it's not that hard to implement. The community has already built it. So. You can look at sets and you can say... I haven't filled out this set. What do I have to do to go get it? I want to find, like, how many guns... Glad you put it in. And finally, you know. We also had a triumph thing, which is just acknowledging your achievement. It, like, ties into records. It ties into more. It's a thing that can help you drive, like, hey, I want to do that. And if I do those things, I can get a title. This, like, I can have a title yeah, floating over like, my name that says that I'm a god or whatever. Not, not me. This, like you. <laughs> we wanted Forsaken to feel like a game that never ends. So we're going to have to force the hobby in experience something that can be played night overnight we're changing the weapon slots we're changing how the pursuits work we're adding see i had like 10 18 designs. 12 i don't know man the shotgun 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 that, that made me happy but 
I don't know how much that's gonna break the game. You never dial it too high. You guys, you guys always oversell. I have never seen you oversell anything. You always over. I mean, I never seen you undersell something. You oversell everything. I have never seen you guys be like. I was like, dang, that was really good. It's like, no, you meet expectations barely. Push. That wore a lot, bro. That's what I'm looking forward to. A lot of that stuff was very impactful. I feel like it was very good. I think they did a really good job with it. I just don't want them to be like, um, I don't want them to, because they basically, after they showed all that stuff, they didn't explain most of it. They didn't say anything about it. They showed off Gambit, which I don't think that should be a main focus. I don't think that's how Titanfall 2 introduced a new mode or anything like that. I feel like you should be focusing on how to regain the trust of the community. And I'm, I'm not trying to harp on anything. I already made a video for that. This was a really good, well-executed reveal. Could have been at E3. They did nothing new, nothing different that they couldn't have done on a stage. If they didn't want to give them nine minutes, I'm pretty sure somebody would have gave them nine minutes. If they would have did it on their own, whatever. I don't feel like they had to do this and then talk about nothing 30 minutes later. So, I really enjoyed this. Um, looking forward to all the changes. Everything looks amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And as always, matter of fact, stay in, go in the comment section below and let me know exactly how you feel about this. Maybe I'm just being one-sided with it. I don't know. I'm not seeing that from every viewpoint. But this viewpoint I'm looking at, um, it's really good. But thanks for watching. And as always...